Hey everyone, welcome back to String Cheese and Applesauce, where today I'm going to tell you what's up with this LEGO Ninja Turtles Big Rig Snow Getaway set. Um, it's a pretty cool set. I like the fact that it, it has this cool little SUV that, with a few modifications, you know, getting rid of the flick fire missiles and getting rid of um, this other stupid little pop-up flick fire missile thing. Um, it could fit nicely into a LEGO city. So it, it's pretty cool, nicely detailed. Um, that's cool, I like that. Uh, but the reason why I mostly bought it was the uh, the turtle figures. I'm, I'm kind of a minifigure collector, so got those guys. And um, as far as part pack, this thing has a lot of dark bluish gray parts. Um, a lot of bricks, a lot of plates, a bunch of cool stuff to, you know, continue to build my Lego city. So I'm always looking at the sets as parts and as minifigures because, you know, I like to collect those guys, but it's hard to buy a set just for the minifigures because you can buy minifigures individually on Bricklink a lot cheaper than the whole set. But it doesn't bother me because I'm going to use the pieces anyway for other stuff. So buying a set as a whole is cheaper than buying the minifigures and all of the pieces individually. I mean, that's why they sell sets for, you know, you can break it up and take all the parts out and sell it for two to three times the, the price of the set as a whole. Um, the other reason I got it was, look at this, clearance. It was 30% off, so cheap Lego, you really can't pass that up either. So that's what's up with this set. Cool parts, cool figures. Um, I do want to show you this cool part. Now this is not really that rare of a part. I mean that new of a part, but it is kind of rare. Um, and the difference between this and any other inverted slope is this one. See how you can attach it to a plate? Like that kind of create this cool little inverted curve. So you get eight of these in the set. So I, I pulled these from my, my spare parts bin and there, I don't have many of this in my spare parts bin, but under here, you can see right here, right here, right there, right there. It's basically creating this, this little frame structure that's holding all the bricks and pieces on top of it. So this little portion right here is attached to this plate going across and it just creates a nice little curved detail with um, plenty of structural support for the vehicle above. So that's kind of cool getting eight of those and like I said a lot of dark bluish gray, a lot of tiles, a lot of sloped pieces. So really good part pack set. So that's it for this one. That's what's up with this one. Um, it's not really a full-on review. It's just uh, sharing my thoughts on why I got this set and what I'm going to do with it. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.